It's fine on EUNE. There's no way in hell EUNE Hilo is getting fine cues. Am I gonna do OPG reviews? I'll do them after the first game. <gasps> Yo, oh my fucking god, I got filled and I- Uh, hey, can I please jungle? Dude, who the fuck are my teammates? Sorry, me jungle. Uh, wait, I have an idea. Please let me jungle. I'll do anything. Gets on knees. What if I just abuse my streamer privilege to get the role? Unless he tells me to go fuck myself. Can you say my name? Sure. What is it? Oh, <gasps> okay. Yo, yo, Gunner. Can you please let me jungle, good sir? Yeah? Aw, thank you. We are versus each other? No way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, it's like the first game back in NA, and we need to take down the fucking bastard face tats guy. You know what? We could get it done. Okay, well, what's up? What's up, pound the OP on Hecarim? Guys, do I still need item haste? Ravenous Hydra Shojin. Do are there like any stacking mechanics similar to tier or no? Hydra? Okay, no, no, but Hydra doesn't have a cooldown, does it? That's what I'm asking. Does Hydra have a cooldown? Yes or no? It doesn't? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. So what we'll do is we'll try out phase rush then. First things first, listen up. You have an option of two things. Either one is Gus Walker or Moss Stomper, one of the two. This, like, red bullshit doesn't... It's not actually good at all. <laughs> also, dude, it feels so weird playing on my fucking setup now. Because, like, my keyboard is so much smarter than the one I had at the gaming center. So, funny story about the bastard enemy Karthus. Last preseason, I played versus him 20 games in a row every day. And all this guy would do... Is just sit there and drop 20 deaths and int. Literally. He would sit there on my team, drop 20 deaths and int, and 1v9 versus me. It was probably one of the most miserable times a single person has ever made me in my life. So, even though it is a new season, you still do... What the fuck? Dude, can he fuck off? What's he doing? Okay, so even though it's a new season, you still want to do like top to bottom. Dude, what is this? <laughs> Can he get cancer? <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna clear. Oh, it's true, the. The. The fucking uh, Krugs, they don't spawn. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Why? Making sure someone specifically start the day with a little bit of cancer. Alright, well thank god we have to play versus this dickhead first game. Okay, so what I want to do now, the only thing is, ever since the new changes, you can't full clear top to bot, or you can't uh, double cam clear anymore. So when you're clearing Grom, I think what you actually should do, I'll do this next time, but I think what you actually want to do is nowadays, if you're clearing like blue gromp, you should start off with gromp and then do blue after. And the reason why is so that then on your second full clear, you can actually have like, um, you can actually have like both up at the same time with having sense. I'm just saving my smite staff, Nidalee tries contesting, I can kill her. Oh, it's true, Skull doesn't have a shield anymore, I forgot. Okay, wait, what if we just kill this fucking bastard? It's like he wanted to give me cancer earlier. What if I give him a little bit of cancer? Where is he? Huh? What? <laughs> okay. So what I told you guys, I've been like training my movements so he can't land a single Q on me. What's wrong with him? <laughs> 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 Alright, so now I'm just gonna reset off, whatever. 
Okay, so apparently people are saying Ravenous Hydra is like the new item. So I wonder if you guys want to see a little bit of Ravenous Hydra gaming. But the thing is, we can't like rush team at. We can't rush team at because we need to do a tier still. Isn't Shoujin better? I think... Let me see something. So, Ravenous Hydra is 3300 and Shoujin 3400. I think both of them can be good situationally. And it just depends on like what those situations are, if that makes sense. Like, Shoujin versus Ravenous Hydra, I think, are going to be Hecarim's two, like, starter items, for sure. But it's, like, I think what you're going to want to do is, if you're going for more of, like, an Assassin build, you go Ravenous Hydra. And then, if you're going for more of, like, a Bruiser tankier build, uh, then you go Shoujin. Okay, so they're diving bot, but I could, like, come in here. I'm just hearing to keep q stacks, and I'm popping my Ghost, and now we go. It sucks I don't have mana. I could have gotten double care if I did. A double kill there if I did. What is this shit? What? Uh, I mean... Sure. What the fuck? You can vote for objectives? Yeah, but isn't that just completely useless? Why not just spamping instead? Okay, so wait. Grom doesn't give you mana anymore. Interesting. So yeah, I guess tier is like way more essential on Hecarim than ever before now. Because the thing about it is like back in the day, it's not that you could get away with not going tier, but it's just the fact that like it wasn't that you needed a hundred percent. But like nowadays, yeah, you do. So yeah, I guess mana regen in the jungle is just like completely fucked now. So you always have to go. Uh, always have to go tier then. I mean, listen, since the enemy team doesn't have an exhaust, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Ravnus. We'll do Ravnus. What I'm, what I'm gonna say, listen, don't take this as fact yet. But I'm gonna say that if the enemy team doesn't have an exhaust, you go Ravnus Hydra, play for full damage, as long as their team comp allows for it and it's not full of tanks. And then you can also do like Shoujin as well. But Shoujin's like, meh. Shoujin, I think, is better if like you can't just go in and one shot everyone. 4,000 health blue buff, by the way. Dude, what is this shit? The jungle feels like it takes a lot longer to clear. Perfect. I didn't even have to use my uh, ult there, which was good. What I'm going to do here is so I'll just get three Q stacks. And then we go for the bot gank. So whenever you're going for Bokang shit like that, you always want to get those three Q stacks. I'm not using ult because I don't need to. If she flashes, then I will though. Perfect. I mean, the new Hydra, it's just like Omnivamp, isn't it? And you get like more Omnivamp when you get more kills. So it's just like an AD version of Magi's, isn't it? But instead of just getting 5 AD, you get Omnivamp. You get AD as well. Oh. To be honest, I kind of, I kind of like this thing. But how do you like call for the votes? Like, do you need to do like slash objective vote or like, you just ping it? Really? You ping the objective and then it starts. Okay. Once I have my upgraded smite, then we can just like win every objective for free. Cause I'll have my, I'll, I'll be like chilling. Like I have such a huge lead on Italy right now in terms of camps that like it doesn't matter. Yeah, why are you guys soloing this shit? What? What do you got? Yo, get off. It's like if we literally just wait 30 seconds, I have a 1200 damage smite. Okay, we just might have to report this entire team. I said we might have to report everyone, but it's fine. Uh, yo, the good news is now. I get cancer. That's the good news. <laughs> That's not ideal, but we're okay. Smite doesn't heal anymore. Wait, doesn't it? Ah. Oh. I was wondering why I didn't heal for fuck all on Gromp. I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait, bro, what? Why did I not heal off Gromp? Um, okay. Go Shoujin next item. You're telling me the build is Ravenous Hydra, Shoujin, Man Immune? But then you don't have a mythic, that's the only thing I don't like.
Ooh. Okay, team just needs to back off. All right, we can just look for this force here. Because the thing is, I have a 1200 damage smite and Italy only has nine. Only shit thing is Vago's bot. Yeah, we're gonna get shit on on this. Perfect. Bro, the crazy thing is, I'm 20 CS up on Italy and I'm a level down. Did they nerf jungle XP, yes or no? Yes? Wait, they nerfed the jungle XP? Oh, okay. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Since we won Ravenous Rush, I think I just want to go Mad Moon into Duskblade. Oh, shit. Okay, once Kassante comes here, we can actually just hard win. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking... Wait, unless my W sa Wait! My W resist actually saved me. Nice. Alright, listen, we'll try out Jackthar again and we'll see if it feels nice. Do I think jungle is harder after the changes? You want to know, honestly, I'm going to say yes. And I'll tell you why. Because I feel like with the new jungle, you can't just AFK farm, like, camps. But you also can't just spam gang. So there's a lot more about, like, actually knowing what to do. Like, sure, the mechanical aspect of the role might not be as difficult, but I would say that, uh, the other part is. Okay, you should be able to just kill here. I mean, I can't come in. I can't help. Yeah, whatever. We need to contest this here. What I can do is I can just run mid, and then I'll, like, get 3Q stacks off this wave, and it'll be okay. Damage felt crazy there, but I still got shit on. I mean, listen, I'm going to be real with you guys. The damage on this build feels really crazy, but the problem with this build is that it needs three items. And the three item power spike is just super expensive. Like, that's the issue. It's like, it's a really good build, but it just feels like it's too fucking expensive. Like, way too expensive. Okay, I could literally just run in and ace everyone. Now we just run this guy down. <laughs> okay! Nice! But that's what I'm saying, listen, this build with three items feels really nice. But it's like, getting to three items is a hard part, you know what I mean? I guess we could just do like that's Sans next item. I don't think we need any other item, to be honest. Shojin is awesome on Hecarim. I mean, listen, I agree, but I just don't think you should get it if you already have like Hydra and all these items I built this game. Like, <laughs> look at what I'm able to do to Kaelin. So at this point, should I not just get items that allow for me to get like better resets? Okay, why is, why is Cassante just 1v3 casually? Oh, I have cancer. Uh, the Aurelia fucking wall so actually fucked me so hard there. Okay, nice. Cassante is so dumb. Okay. Is it Cassante is dumb or is it tanks are fucking OP? Be honest. Because I have a really bad feeling that we're in a tank meta right now. Seriously. We have been in tank meta for a decade now. I know what you mean. You know, this is the real fucking black pill. Get ready for it. The real black pill is that tank meta never ended. Tank champs are just so fucking boring that no one wanted to play them.
That's the real shit I said in my life. It's never that tank meta ended. It's just that tank champs are just too fucking boring. That no one wants to lock that shit in. Seriously. You think anyone wants to play fucking Zack or Tarek or Ramus? No. But then when you play Versus, you're like, dude, what is this shit? Okay, so I just want to get two Q-Stacks. What the fuck? Okay. Bro, I'm just ulting so I can get to the fountain sooner. Okay, guys, you want to know what I really think? Type 1 if you guys want to know what I really think. What the fuck? I think this silly can get cancer. That's what I really think. In game. Okay, so anyways, this is what I really think. I don't think tanks are going to be the broken ones. I think what's going to be super broken is bruisers with tank items. Does that make sense? Bruisers building tank is going to be broken. Not tanks themselves. Also, I'm going to be honest with you. These pings are just like too much. Soul steal. You didn't use elixir. Wait, I better not lose the game for that. Uh, what if I got chem tank? Yo, low key, I need an MR item. What if I just got the chem tank? A little bit of chem tankulation right now. Shin champs with iceborne specifically are gonna be OP. Jax, Rally, etc. Yeah, I agree. I I don't know, dude. Like. Yeah, I agree. Because the thing is, they can just build, like, either Shoujin or Borg to supplement to all their damage that they're missing out. Just come back, just come back. The enemy team legit can't enter. All they can do is try poking with Nid Spears, that's it. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> I feel bad for ADCs. <laughs> They're getting fucked this season. But you know what? Fuck ADCs. Who cares about them anyways? Seriously. ADCs this season? Hey, it ain't your fucking year if you main ADC. I'm gonna be real with you. It ain't gonna be your fucking year. <laughs> like, you guys had your time to shine. Back in like... Season 7, when it was Ardent Meta. And ever since then, you've just had to eat shit because of how cancer Ardent Meta was. That's the real shit I said. I want to reset for my chem tank. Once I chem tank, it goes loco. It goes loco off the fucking Coco, you know what I mean? And that's where we have to go Mensa right now. <laughs> okay? Oh, he actually zoned yet. Yo, the good news is we just come anyways. <laughs> the 20 death Karthus support incident. <laughs> the 20 death Karthus support incident. Is there any reason we're not ending the game? What? Retreat! What? Why retreat? What? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why we retreated there. It's like we have Baron, Raptor, Nexus. Like, we're retreating. You know what it's like? It's like when you're watching those movies. And then, like, the girl is running away from, like, the bad guy in the horror movie. And then she has him stunned. And she has a gun. And she just runs away. But it's like, why are you not killing him? Type 1 if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? It's like, like, why are we not just ending the fucking game? What's going on? Like, what, what, what is this? And now Nidalee aces us, and the enemy team is up in time, and now they can get out there. For what? Why? What? <laughs> it's fine, though. Okay, what if I sold my Drakthar for another Mythic? It's like, what if we had to sit here and just go tank? 
What goes crazy? Heart steal. What if I just went Jack Show? I just said fuck it. We just go Jack Show and I play to be unkillable. Switching up the mythical item. It's like, that's how we get that shit fucking done. A little juicer play for us, chat. A little bit of a juicer play. All right. And now we're in Diamond Promotional Series. Cool. See, so yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, this account's platinum, but it has, like, Challenger MMR. So that's why, like, last game was a uh, GM Challenger, or, like, Master GM game. Bro, I had 60k damage that game. What the fuck? What is the best Pokemon for Hecarim? Did you try the green one? Uh, I can try next game. But no, I think the I think the blue one's the best. Listen, Hecarim's a champ that's all about move speed. And it's like, we have a mythic that's their entire revolving around move speed. So I think that's like for sure is best now.